Imagine every single time you earn some hard-earned cash, a grubby little mitt comes in and skims some right off the top. Well, that's essentially what happens. Those grubby little mitts belong to HMRC, so essentially you're being mugged by this little old dear. <laughs> Today's video, I'm going to explain exactly how the UK income tax system works. Don't hurt me. Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is That Finance Show with me, Tom Morgan, a UK-based financial planner and advisor. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, and come and chuck us a follow on Instagram too. So let's start with a bit of housekeeping first. All the rates and numbers that I'm gonna go through in this video are accurate at the time of filming. You see, the first thing you need to know is that instead of agreeing with the concept the Romans came up with on when a year starts, HMRC begin their confusion by saying that a tax year starts on April the 6th and until April the 5th. Oh, and HMRC stands for Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs. They are the people in charge of collecting the tax, so think of them as the Queen's debt collectors, if you will. So although the basic concepts covered in this video will be correct, the numbers and rates might be different depending on exactly when you are watching this video. So make sure that you check what the rates are when you're sat watching this. And hey, if you're watching this way into the future, Look me up, won't you? I'm probably gonna be some overweight, middle-aged guy yelling at kids going past my house on their goddamn rocket shoes. Rocket powered shoes. Three, two, one. Oh gosh, it's lit, it's lit, it's lit. Go, go, go. Oh, such a bad idea. Uh-oh, here we go. Go, 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 go. Ah! Oh Christ, and one more thing. For all my Scottish fans out there, your income tax rates are different too. You pay the Scottish government, so be sure to make sure you check out what those rates are. I don't have any Scottish fans. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's hot in the centre of the earth. In order to explain income tax to you, I'm going to introduce you to your new favourite bands. Imagine buying a ticket to Glastonbury only to find out that first up on the main stage is personal allowance. And once they've warmed things up, next up is basic rate. Most people are into them, but they're not really that exciting. They're a bit like Coldplay. Next up we have higher rate. Some people know their stuff. They're a bit of a niche sound and they tend to have a pretty middle class audience. And then your headliners. They arrived by limo and they'll only drink bottled water. It is additional rate. To be honest, no one likes additional rate. How do they get on the bill? You see your earnings are split into bands and rather than just telling you that, I thought for some reason I'd go into some self-indulgent nonsense about music in case it helps. Did it help? Well, it's too late now. How much income tax you pay depends on how much of your income is over the personal allowance and falls into each tax band. Don't worry, we're gonna go through some examples. The personal allowance is the amount of money that you're allowed to earn before you have to cough up any to Liz. The current rate is 12 and a half thousand. So if you earn less than that, you don't have any tax to pay. You get to keep it all. Back off, Liz. <gasps> Next is the basic rate band. Now this currently applies to any money over your personal allowance, which is 12 and a half thousand and falls below 50,000. You'll pay 20% on any of your earnings in this band. So for every hundred pounds that you earn, Liz wants 20 pounds of it. Next up is the higher rate band. This is for all you big hitters and Coldplay fans. You'll pay 40% in this tax band for any income over 50,000 and below 150,000. So for every 100 pounds in this category, Liz wants 40. Now guys and girls, it's time for the real big fish. Real big fish, do you remember them? For any income over 150,000, you're gonna pay 45% on this. So for every 100 pounds in here, Liz wants 45. I haven't got a fiver. Have you got a fiver? Anyone got a fiver? Um, we'll, we'll, we'll do that, plus five. One of the common misconceptions is, there's no point me earning any more money, I'm just gonna pay more tax on it and not see any of it. Not true. 
Stick with me, I'm gonna go through some examples in a minute and show you the maths. I got you. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. The personal allowance will actually go down by one pound for every two pounds you earn over 100,000 pounds. And it can go down to zero. So what that means is if you earn over £125,000 a year, you will actually lose your personal allowance entirely. Right, enough confusion with the rules. The easiest way to understand this is with the maths. Let's run through some very quick examples. If you earn £20,000 a year, you will pay nothing on the first £12,500, the personal allowance. On the remaining £7,500, you will pay basic rate tax at 20%. So you will pay £1,500 in total income tax. Now, if you're employed, this is more than likely just going to be deducted from your monthly pay in a scheme called Pay As You Earn. P-A-Y-E. P-A-Y-E. <sighs> So in this example, uh, £125 a month will be taken from your monthly pay. Now, let's say you earn 60000 It would go like this. Well done, you. Again, you'll pay nothing on the first £12,500, your personal allowance. We'll now look at your earnings up to that 50000 threshold. So 37500 of your earnings will be taxed at 20% basic rate which is seven and a half thousand. And then on the remaining 10,000 that sits in the higher rate band, you'll pay 40%, so 4,000. So if we add these figures together, you'll get 11 and a half thousand pounds in total tax due. And if you're employed and on a PAYE scheme, you'll be deducted about 958 pounds each month. And for you major players earning 200,000 pounds a year, let's face it, Tom, no one earning 200,000 pounds a year is watching some self-indulgent YouTube video about income tax. Too busy on their yachts, I expect. Firstly, you've now lost all of your personal allowance. So in effect, you're going to pay tax on all of your earnings. That serves you right, yacht boy. So it looks like this. You'll pay 20% on the first 37,500, so 7,500. On the next 112,500, you'll pay 40%, which is 45,000. And then 45% on the remaining 50,000, which is 22,500. That's a grand total in tax of 75,000. Woo-wee! Now, in truth, there are lots of intricacies to the UK tax system. There is extra personal allowance, for example, if you're blind, and married couples can transfer a portion of their personal allowance between their partners, and there's also something called the personal savings allowance. Dividends are taxed at a completely different rate, and income tax is not the full story anyway. We haven't even touched on national insurance, which is a whole nother thing altogether. But I do have a top tip for you. My top tip is pretty simple. There are some great online calculators that will do all the heavy lifting on the maths for you. There's absolutely loads of them, but one that I like is the salary calculator, and I'll pop a link in the description below should you want to take a look. So really, really quickly, this is what it looks like. If I wanted to put in that last example, if I put 200,000 in that top box, you'll notice as you scroll down, you've actually got, um, you can tell it if you're a resident in Scotland, you can put in your actual tax code, tell it about your student loans, pension contributions, all these have an effect on your overall tax. If you go to additional options at the end, you can tell it about, you know, for example, the blind person's allowance, whether you're married and, and all these different intricacies that I briefly touched on. If I leave all that blank, let's just assume this is dead, dead straightforward. If I hit calculate, it will essentially give us a breakdown of what the tax situation is. It will also comment on national insurance as well. If we click here on breakdown by the tax figure, it will actually give you a breakdown of the maths that we just went through there. So my tip is, yes, it's really, really good to understand the system, but there are some great tools that will save you a lot of heavy lifting. Right, that's quite enough from me. What are you even still doing here anyway? Get out there and earn some more money. Don't you know Liz's corgis need some new slippers? She's behind me again, isn't she?